Hi everyone, in this video we will study guidelines related to digestive system from CPT surgery section. Let's start. Keep your CPT manual ready. To begin with, we have to know the anatomy of the digestive system. This diagram is present in your CPT manual at the beginning of digestive system page number 338. In digestive system, the feeding tube begins in the mouth and ends at the anus. The major function of digestive system is to digest and break down foods taken into the body. Food enters the digestive system via the mouth. The teeth and tongue mechanically break food into small particles. Then the salivary glands that surround the mouth secrete saliva which aids in early phases of chemical digestion. The esophagus is a tube which is about 10 inches long and it arises from the pharynx. The esophagus moves food into the stomach by peristalsis. So the stomach further digests food received from the esophagus and passes partially digested food which is known as chyme into the duodenum. Okay. Next is small intestine. The duodenum is the first portion of the small intestine. Next is jejunum that is the middle third of the small intestine. Then comes the ileum. So, ileum is the last and longest section of the small intestine. So, most of the food absorption takes place in the ileum which connects to the large intestine. The large intestine is divided into cecum, appendix, ascending colon, sigmoid colon, rectum and anus. So, water is reabsorbed food material travels through the large intestine and is eventually eliminated from the body. Please take a note that the accessory organs of the digestive system include teeth, tongue, glandular organs such as salivary glands and liver, gallbladder and pancreas. Let us look at some medical terminologies related to digestive system. Gastro means stomach. Chole means gall or bile, cysto is bladder or sac, emiso means vomit, litho means stone, lapero refers to abdominal wall, centesis is to puncture, tripsy means to crush, rhea means flow or discharge and osis is abnormal condition. Let us look at the index of the surgery digestive system. The digestive system code range is 40,490 to 49999. The digestive system subsection is arranged first by anatomic region and then by procedure. You can check it is starting with the lips. This is the code range for lips. Then we have excision repair and other procedures for lips. Similarly, for other anatomic regions of the digestive system, we have different code range. Okay, let us start with the important guidelines related to surgery digestive system. The first guideline is related to tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy. So, these are the codes for tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy. Highlight this. 42820 is for tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy younger than age of 12. Then you have code for age 12 or older. Then this is the code for tonsillectomy primary or secondary younger than age 12. 42826 is for age 12 or over. And 42830 is for adenoidectomy, primary younger than age 12. And 42831 is for age 12 or over. Then 42835 is for adenoidectomy, secondary younger than age 12. And 42836 is for age 12 or over. So, this code is for tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy and this code is for tonsillectomy only primary or secondary and 42830 is for adenoidectomy only primary and 42835 is for adenoidectomy only secondary you have to code it based on the age and also you have to check whether they have mentioned tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy both or they have mentioned only tonsillectomy or only adenoidectomy so, the important guideline is the codes 42820 to 42836 that is these codes represent bilateral procedures. Okay, so all these codes represent bilateral procedure and we should not append modifier 50 with these codes. 
these codes represent bilateral procedure suppose in the scenario if they have mentioned unilateral procedure then how will you code you have to append modifier 52 if you want to code for unilateral procedures remember by default all these codes represent bilateral procedures Next guideline is about endoscopy that is when bleeding occurs as a result of endoscopic procedure control of bleeding is not reported separately during the same operative session and esophagoscopy includes examination from the cricopharyngeus muscle upper esophageal sphincter to and including the gastroesophageal junction and it may also include examination of proximal region of the stomach via retroflexion when performed Next guideline is about esophago gastro duodenoscopy EGD. The code range is 432352432529. So what is EGD? EGD is a test to examine the lining of the esophagus, stomach and first part of the small intestine that is the duodenum. You can check in this diagram. EGD is a test to examine lining of the esophagus, stomach and first part of the small intestine that is duodenum and the important guideline in esophago gastro duodenoscope is that append modifier 52 if repeat examination is not planned and append modifier 53 if repeat examination is planned this guideline is present in your cpt manual page number 350 under esophago gastro duodenoscope highlight that Next is endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography ERCP. So the code range is 43260-43278. It is an endoscopic procedure that combines upper gastrointestinal endoscopy and x-rays to treat problems of the bile and pancreatic ducts. This diagram represents ERCP procedure that is endoscopic procedure which combines upper gastrointestinal tract endoscopy and x-rays to treat problems of the bile and pancreatic ducts. Next guideline is of laparoscopy. The guideline is surgical laparoscopy always includes diagnostic laparoscopy so do not code it separately. Next, endoscopy, small intestine. The guideline is, when bleeding occurs as a result of endoscopic procedure, control of bleeding is not reported separately. Okay? During the same operative session. Next important guideline is, appendectomy. So here they have given the course for appendix incision. Next we have excision that is appendectomy. This is very important. So the code. 44950 is for appendectomy and it is for appendix which is not ruptured. Please make a note of this. This code is for the appendix which is not ruptured and this is an important parenthetical note below the code that is incidental appendectomy during intra-abdominal surgery does not usually warrant a separate identification if necessary to report add modifier 52 and we have the add on code 44955 that is for when done for indicated purpose at the time of other major procedure which is not as separate procedure list separately in addition to the code for primary procedure next important code is 44960 which is for ruptured appendix okay this is important so the main thing you have to remember in appendectomy is that 44950 is for appendectomy where the appendix is not ruptured and 44960 is for ruptured appendix. Next we have the code for laparoscopy surgical appendectomy that is 44970. Remember if in the scenario they have mentioned laparoscopy surgical appendectomy is performed then you have to use the code 44970. And the code 44979 is used for unlisted laparoscopy procedure of appendix. Next important guideline is for endoscopy. So in your CPT manual page number 374 you can find this definitions. So all these are important procedures that is proctosigmoidoscopy, sigmoidoscopy, colonoscopy, colonoscopy through stoma. The important thing we have to know is proctosigmoidoscopy is the examination of the rectum and may include examination of a portion of the sigmoid colon. This is very important while coding. We have to know 
the proctosigmoidoscopy is for examination of which anatomic location that is examination of the rectum and it may include examination of a portion of the sigmoid colon the code range for proctosigmoidoscopy is 453002453227 next is sigmoidoscopy that is examination of entire rectum sigmoid colon and may include examination of a portion of the descending colon so the code range is 453302 to 45350 in your cpc exam if you get confused you can always refer back to the definitions which is already present in your book next is colonoscopy colonoscopy is the examination of entire colon from the rectum to the cecum and may include examination of terminal ileum small intestine proximal to an anastomosis so the code range is 45378 to 45398 next is colonoscopy through stoma that is examination of colon from the colostomy stoma to the cecum and may include examination of terminal ileum small intestine proximal to an anastomosis let us study colonoscopy in detail this is very important so a colonoscope is inserted in the anus and moved through the colon to the cecum in order to visualize the lumen of the rectum and the colon you can see the endoscope is advanced to cecum or terminal ileum to code for colonoscopy procedures there is a colonoscopy decision tree this is very important you can refer this colonoscopy decision tree to code This is present in your CPT manual page number 376. So here decision to undergo colonoscopy. So if it is a diagnostic procedure then you will code on the basis of whether it does not reach splenic flexure beyond splenic flexure but not to the cecum to cecum. Then for therapeutic procedures does not reach splenic flexure beyond splenic flexure but not to the cecum and to the cecum. Here they have mentioned the codes You will use these codes based on what is mentioned in the operative report or in the CPC exam question. Next is anoscopy. The code range is four six six zero zero to four six six one five. So, what is anoscopy? Medical procedure that examines the anus, anal canal, and lower rectum using small rigid tube called anoscope. So, the anoscope is about five inches long and slightly wider than a finger, and is made up of plastic or metal. Just go through the code range four six six zero zero to four six six one five and also read the parenthetical notes below each code. Next important guideline is hernia repair. This is very important. So the hernia repair codes in the section are categorized primarily by the type of hernia: inguinal, femoral, lumbar, omphalocele, anterior abdominal, parastomal. So how you will code this hernia repair codes? we have to code according to the hernia site whether it is lumbar inguinal or ventral then we have to code according to the patient's age the type of hernia whether it is initial or recurrent then we have to check the hernia's clinical presentation whether it is reducible incarcerated strangulated or recurrent and the approach whether it is open or laparoscopic we'll check the code The code range four nine five nine one two four nine five nine six is for repair of anterior abdominal hernia initial. Four nine five nine one is the parent code. Below that we can find the codes four nine five nine two that is for less than three centimeter incarcerated or strangulated. So what is the difference between four nine five nine one and four nine five nine two? Four nine five nine one is for less than three centimeter reducible, but Four nine five nine two is for less than three centimeter incarcerated or strangulated. So you have to check in the scenario what they have mentioned, whether they have mentioned reducible or incarcerated or strangulated. Next, the code is four nine five nine three, three centimeter to ten centimeter reducible. Four nine five nine four is for three centimeter to ten centimeter incarcerated or strangulated. Four nine five nine five is for greater than ten centimeter, that is for reducible. And four nine five nine six is for greater than ten centimeter incarcerated or strangulated. Next is the code four nine six one three, which is the parent code that is for repair of anterior abdominal hernia recurrent. Okay, and it is including implantation of mesh. Highlight that, and it is for less than three centimeter reducible. Below that you have the code for. Less than three centimeter incarcerated or strangulated. Four nine six one five is for three centimeter to ten centimeter reducible. Four nine six one six is for three to ten centimeter incarcerated or strangulated. 
फोर नाइन सिक्स वन सेवन इज फॉर ग्रेटर दैन टेन सेंटीमीटर रेड्यूजेबल फोर नाइन सिक्स वन एट इज फॉर ग्रेटर दैन टेन सेंटीमीटर इन कार्सरेटेड और स्ट्रेंगुलेटेड सो द मेन थिंग यू हैव टू चेक इज टाइप ऑफ हर्निया ओके दैट इज वेदर इट इज एंटीरियर एबडोमिनल इंग्वेनल फीमोरल ओके देन यू हैव टू चेक वेदर इट इज इनिशियल और रिकरेंट एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू चेक वेदर इट इज रेड्यूजेबल स्ट्रेंगुलेटेड और रिकरेंट एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव टू कोड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द साइज आई होप यू क्लियर विद इट In the next video we will solve some practice questions related to digestive system guidelines so you will be more clear how to use the codes now let us see modifiers used in digestive system modifier 22 which is for increased procedural service modifier 51 is for multiple procedures modifier 53 is for discontinued procedure modifier 58 staged or related procedure or service by same physician or other qualified healthcare professional during the post operative period is used for unplanned return to the operating room by the same physician or other qualified healthcare professional used when the patient is returned so in this video we studied guidelines related to digestive system don't forget to show your support to my channel by liking sharing and subscribing to code med mastery in the next video we'll discuss cpc exam practice questions related to digestive system which is very important so stay tuned